36 minus x squared, or the square root of 36x minus x squared. Now, I am going to tell you guys, this shows up a lot. You guys are going to see this on a quiz, hint, hint, wink, wink, or some other work. Okay, So we need to kind of make sense of this. Now, first of all, I'm just going to do a little bit of side work here just to kind of help you understand this. Because again, we need to look at this and not even blink an eye and know what it represents. All right. First of all, this is a function, right? Take the integral of the function. And we could represent any function by setting equal to y. Yes? I could also square them both sides. y squared equals 36 minus x squared. And then I could add the x squared to the other side. x squared plus y squared equals 36. Oh, OK. That looks a little bit more familiar, right? That is the equation of a circle. And remember, the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r represents the radius. So by looking at this, I can determine the radius is going to be 6, right? And, and then obviously, the um, remember, like in precalculus, like y and k are going to be your, um, y and k would be your origin, right? Or your uh, center. And so obviously, since here we're just dealing with zeros, we know that the center is at the origin, right? So basically, what we have is now when you solve for y, though, when you get it to this point, or let's just even back up to go here. If I was going to solve for y here, I would have to take the square root. And remember, when you introduce the square root, you have to do plus or minus. That's how we get the circle. We get the positive form, and then we get the negative. So when we're looking at this, this is, all, this is basically just giving us the equation of a half circle of the positive value. So basically, what we're looking at is that form, because that's the positive. Remember, it's plus or minus, and that'd be the negative. Right? Well, we know the radius is 6. Do we need any other information for the area of a circle? No, not really, because the area of a circle equals pi r squared. Yes? Now, we're not dealing with the whole circle, though, are we? So the air, this area is just going to be simply 1 half um, pi times 6 squared. And just to kind of keep my work over here, that's going to be 6 squared, so that's going to be 18 pi. And does that kind of work out to what you guys got? The approximate value, that's the exact value. But I think, Gabby, you said you got like 56 or something? Yeah. And that, was, that works, right? 18 times pi. So there's your exact answer. OK? But we need to make sure you guys visually represent this. Because I guarantee you we're going to do all of them. 36, 25, 16, 9, 4, 1. You're going to see probably all of them. That's how many times you're going to see that. All right. <laughs>